first you know, heard about this place about 20 years ago when I was 15 years old, and I watched a documentary on the Great Bear Rainforest. I distinctly remember the white spirit bears, the wolves on the beach, and I remember how this is one of the few places left on this planet where a wild land meets a wild ocean still. Well, this is incredibly unique. It wasn't too long ago that uh, even talking about uh, the spirit bear at our dinner table was unheard of. It's only found uh, up in our parts. I think this would be the, the icon of this whole uh, pipeline issue. I saw those images of the Gulf spill to imagine that, you know, that's the same kind of uh, future that this coastline would have. Uh, you know, it's just, it's devastating. It's unacceptable. It's just not going to happen. Uh, the International League of Conservation Photographers is a consortium of photographers and photojournalists, and our job is to bring back stories from far off places. We came up with the idea of a RAVE, a Rapid Assessment Visual Expedition, to send a handful of photographers out on a mission to create a snapshot of an area so that we can use those images to engage the media and create tipping points around conservation issues. And so we have 10 photographers here running around shooting wolves and shooting birds and shooting the spirit bears. You know, we've got a really short period of time to try to cover some of the iconic wildlife. Uh, and that's going to be a challenge. I saw a white bear here this morning. He just came out very briefly, and I'm hoping he's going to come back down today and try and grab another salmon. Within six hours of a spill hitting this ocean, that oil would be all over the coast. And on the high tides, it would be up in these estuaries, affecting the food source that these bears depend on. So I really think it's the one species that's going to really make people realize the impact that an oil spill would have on this coast.